I'm Joel Thomas. I work at uh, Pit Eye Express. Uh, we're a trucking company based out of Pittsburgh and basically ship to all of North America continent through the Reliance Network. Right now is a pretty exciting time in our data center because we just recently did a uh, network and server refresh infrastructure in our environment and are moving towards the Cisco Nexus 7000 line, uh, core switch line, and the Cisco UCS blade system. So trying to go fully 10 gig ethernet throughout our data center, take full advantages of the speeds we can get with vSphere and virtualizing 90 to 95% of our, virtual, our uh, data center infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Cool. So, uh, you know, just tee it up with some questions, right? What, uh, what were the major pain points that you had in place? When you, when you took the reins for your environment, what stuff was broken? What stuff did you have to deal with? Well, when I first joined, we were using a uh, somewhat subpar backup software, uh, ArcServe, and <laughs> we had many issues with backup windows and restore issues. For example, if we get a ticket, then we had to do a restore. The tape was never in the library. I, I obviously would try and hit restore and pray that the tape was in the library, it was not, so I would have to spend the time and effort to get the tape back and do my restore. And of course, if it's a lot of data, it would sit there and scan the tape for a few hours before the restore even started. So we had some major pains, and when I joined, some of the work I had to do was basically re-architect re the uh, backup infrastructure. And phase one was to replace the backup solution to another solution, and we ended up going with net backup. And then phase two was to look into disk-to-disk -disk backups. And at the time when we were looking into it, obviously, uh, if you're going to do disk to disk, you got to do deduplication because mm -hmm. otherwise you're not going to get the retention times that you desire. So we uh, looked at a, uh, multiple uh, vendors and ended up going with data domain. And phase three was to fully virtualize as much as we can on our data center and take full advantages of VCB and now V storage backups, mm -hmm. image backups for our virtual machines. So you're using the V storage API and you're <coughs> doing image level backups of those systems, and then that's going to data domain. Correct. So that backup just recently. Uh, upgraded to uh, NetBackup 7, which has vStorage API so, uh, solutions, mm -hmm. and if anybody uses NetBackup, knows the VCB error, the 156 error, when you're backing up, you get all these snapshot errors, and uh, vStorage pretty much eliminates that, totally so it's a lot more that. stable. Yeah. So just, just level set, so who's backing up to tape today? Show of hands. Okay, is that a good time? No, no, okay. <laughs> um, who's looking to backup to disk, or, or doing backup to disk? Okay, uh, well you're at the right place. So, so just to kind of, oh, all right. So just to put it out there, you're sitting in the BRS booth, right? There are workstations here that cover every aspect of data protection, from disaster recovery, from deduplication, uh, from you know backup software suites. So, so leverage not only you know the, the knowledge that Jules has to offer, and of course we're hanging out here afterwards, so you can talk to us. But you know, go out there. These are literally the technical consultants that are out there in the field talking to people about these kinds of solutions. So take advantage of that while you're here at the show. Yeah. So, so um, what would you say are the top three things that have been benefits since you've deployed these solutions? Well, obviously performance. Um, the ability to back up as fast as we are. Uh, I got some examples we can get into in a, just a few moments. Cool. But performance, uh, easeability, obviously restores. Right now I'm doing nine to 12 months of retention time. So if uh, HR requires a mailbox wow. from nine months ago, I could do it in five minutes. So it's on site, it's right there. It's always there yeah. on site. So, cool. and uh, obviously reliability, but mm -hmm. it just now, it's, I'm at the point now when I get a, uh, I get a restore ticket, I get excited. <laughs> I'm ready to do one. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. So, um, yeah, so you know, we were talking and kind of going over some of the scenarios and, and you know, that you face as, a, as an IT administrator, and Jules was telling me some cool stories about stuff that he does from home. Right. Why, don't, why don't you talk about some of the stuff you've had to do? So for the home? past Saturday, our BlackBerry administrator wanted to do an upgrade, and if anybody, you know, our 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 infrastructure right now is pretty much about 75% virtual, and we're trying to get to 90, 95% virtual. That includes even machines that require four vCPUs, 16 gigs of memory. If even if we had to dedicate a whole blade to a virtual machine, we're willing to do that to get that encapsulation for easy backup and recovery. Mm -hmm. So our BlackBerry server is uh, virtual, and. I told him, okay, let me just do a quick backup first in case, you know, of disaster. And I t started the backup, took about seven minutes, a little bit less. And then I'm at home on my couch. He's at home on his couch. We're on our laptops using Cisco soft phones. And we're both v-consoled into the same virtual machine. And he's doing his upgrade. I was able to backup the server in 
less than seven minutes, he does the upgrade. If it was a disaster, I can restore it just as quickly. Yeah. So. So you could basically backstep to There's a, no to reason a to go into work. Yeah, exactly. I like that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> you know, so it's about saving time and money, but you know, at the same time, there's a reality to that story that you know, even during the average workday, how much time do you spend in a reactionary mode? How much time do you spend trying to track down data for somebody because it's on a tape or you have to go to a store where that realistically ought to be a pretty instantaneous function. That ought to be something that you can track down with, with an interface that allows you to drill down and find that data very quickly and that data needs to be on site and retention that you can recover it instantaneously. And really with, with the virtual resources that we have and, and the RAS resources that we have as administrators, there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to do that from pretty much anywhere, like a beach in Maui. Just throwing that out as an example. Yeah, so I actually have a scenario, was, he asked about SQL. Uh, about six months ago, we were doing a, a SAM migration from one array to another, and we had about 200 VMs. So out of those 200 VMs, we actually ran to a SQL server that, for some reason, the BMDK uh, got corrupt. Can't, you know, not sure why that happened. And it was a long weekend, so of course, again, we're finishing up from home. You know, Start off as much as you can at work, for phys physical work, but once you get to a point you can do everything remotely, go home, relax, go on the couch, and continue your work. Well, I've started uh, registering the VMs to, from the new array to a vCenter, and I realized this server's not coming up. It's just dead. Well, luckily, before we did the migration, we did a full backup of all our virtual machines to our day domain device, and I just performed, started to do a restore. Since uh, BCB does support VSS, it does QS into the SQL database, as long as it's like 2005 and above, uh, I was able to restore the full virtual machine, 150 gig, database, and without, just with three clicks of the mouse, it's restored, powered on, SQL services started, everything was up and running, I didn't even have to get the DBA involved. So, cool. it was cool. outstanding. So to give you some background and example too, when I first met Jules, um, you know, being a data domain oriented guy, I'm, I'm a legacy data domain guy, I actually have access to the support resources, so I was able to pull auto support messages from his data domain appliance and take a look at the stats. And he's getting nightly backup compression ratios that are in excess of two, 300x deduplication. So he's backing up terabytes of data and it's consuming gigs or megs of space. So the, the storage trend is very, very flat. And that means that of course he's not buying additional disk resources to provision for backup to disk, and the growth path is just very, very low. So he's got a use case where he can use this appliance that he's bought you know, for a very, very long extended period of time before he's looking at either expanding that or upgrading that to different hardware. And that's great, that's part of ROI. Okay. Cool, other thoughts? Yeah, I realized after I did that uh, restore SQL, uh, our SQL server that was virtual, I realized physical servers are dead to me, and we are <laughs> definitely going to go virtual. And if you are doing virtual machines, really you got to get away from the agents and do as much V storage backups as you can and, and get the image backups going because okay. agents is the old way. So image level backup is really where it's at for you. It is. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's cool. And you know, obviously there's, a, there's an agility there in that you know, once you've got an image level backup, you've got a portable system, you can move that anywhere. And with data domain replication, you could have copies of that stuff you know, thousands of miles away or keep multiple iterative copies of that over a period of time. So you can literally have versions of those systems and we see that within VMware, uh, some of the highest deduplication ratios on average of any data type that's out there. Typically that and databases are, are very, very high order dedu. So you can store a lot of those for a long period of time without any storage penalty in doing so. Cool. Well, thank you very much for sharing some stuff with us. I appreciate that. It's been fun. Yeah, just to, uh, to kind of hammer home the points, essentially EMC is absolutely number one for virtualization, uh, number one in data deduplication and also in backup to disk. We're here to help, so, Dick, so take advantage of this BRS uh, environment. Uh, talk to the TCs that are here. Uh, Irina's in the back and for hanging out with us. She's got some free laser etched harmonicas for you. So thank you very much for your time and there sitting in is. with us. And hang out and ask us questions and Jules and I are hanging out afterwards as well. So thank you Jules and thank you for your time. Thanks.